Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the 105FH18V2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG that we know and love as VP La Pew Pew. You might know as a Lefty, a Leaf Blower, or a Heifer. This one is located on the attack team on Redshire Assault and it's under the command of Bumpizer of WKD. Now he's on with a 105 a light field howitzer capable of doing 410 alpha 53 millimeters of pin 1.91 meters on the burst radius it's also got a very fast reload the standard is 8.92 seconds but you can see here fun fizzer has got that down to well i think it's um i can't see because the mods aren't working oh dear <laughs> rounds out yep he got a hit with that one that Excelsior made a big boo-boo by trying to come in this direction. He's now a one-shot. And there's the kill shot. Comes from a Hellcat. Okay, it's got a very fast reload. I'm not sure what the reload time is for Thumpizer. I didn't update the, um, the mods. Oh, but he got a direct hit there. That one probably hit the T1 heavy and another one by looking at the target he can see if the shell disappears there's no explosion he did hit the target because it wasn't spotted now of course an assault game so they have to capture the cap within the 10 minutes of the battle if they don't they lose and that's another direct hit racking up the damage although it only shows 314 hit points of damage he's done far more than that so far because many of his shots have not been spotted he's letting it dial in aiming ahead of its path work out where the enemy's going and that's half the battle rounds out well that one fell short that was rng but can you get another one on target rounds out he gets the kill this time that was a direct hit, 253 hit points, it may have been a penetrating shot as well. He's just found an Achilles, which is a British version of the M10 with a 17 pounder gun. And he gets a direct hit on him too, 141. Looks like it landed, may have been near the turret. That's a direct hit as well. It's getting a lot of damage, but the enemy artist worked out where he is because we're starting to see shells landing nearby us. Now that may have been for the uh, T-3485 on our team, but if we get another shell fired in our direction, we'll know it was for us. And another big hit on the Stukai al G. He's dialing in, he'll probably fire again. He looks away because there is a Jagpanzer or Jagpanzer Pia, the flat panzer, nearby, rounds out. That's a kill. He got the Wolverine this time, or, or was it him who actually got the Wolverine? No, he didn't get the Wolverine. Somebody else did, but he definitely got the Stug. And that's his second kill of the game. Fires another shot at the Yagpanzer. It goes to the right. He's letting it dial in as quickly as he uh, reloads. That guy's moved on. He's not there anymore. He's still firing in, but he wasn't... Oh, he is there! So Fun Fizzle was right, I was wrong. The tank was there, he was just sitting to one side. That's his second blind hit. So the question is, is he still there and tracked? He might be, but that shell overshot him. Okay, well, we've managed to cave uh, or carve a hole um, out of the enemy on the south flank. Our guys in the north didn't do so well because um, the enemy managed to fend them off and most of our guys died. As you can see right up in the north, there's a few of our dead tanks sitting up there. And we can't see the enemy up there, but we can see a T-34. And he was behind us, but he's just got killed by the Hellcat. So that's the second time that girl's guys help, helped out. 
Now, he was looking for Count Basha at the moment. Oh, he did get the gorilla. I'd actually like to see that one again, but it appears he did get a blind kill on the gorilla in the castle grounds. So if you go back the next five seconds, you should be able to see the gorilla getting slotted. He must have given away his tracer. And that's how Fun Fizzer managed to get a shot on him. Oh, that was very close to the Young Pants as he drives back to the castle for, for uh, safety. That basically means that the, um, the south route is now open and our guys could actually move in and start attacking from the south. Going for the Skoda, round south. Remember, he's a fair distance away, so he's having to rely on other people spotting. And, of course, it's a long flight time for the shell. 1.8 seconds, actually. But he's trying to get rid of that Skoda who's trying to get behind us. The T-34-85 is moving in. He's found him. That was a bit late. But it did actually hit the front. In fact, that was a penetrating shot. So it wasn't late at all. But we just found a number of the enemy RTs. The FP-304. And we've killed him. So that's that's a counter battery. Because he just killed both enemy SPGs. The Gorilla and then the FP-304. And there's the Black Panzer. The Yag Panzer Fear. And it appears he's missing a lot of hit points. And he's now missing in battle because he's back in the garage. That was a blind kill. So we're two up on the enemy. There's four left. But we've only got three and a quarter, three and three quarter minutes to uh, win this game. And most of our guys are at the back. They haven't moved forward that much. The Hellcat has been sitting. That's a blind hit. The Hellcat's been sitting at the back, so is the Zaddy Micah, and the T-3485 is reluctant to go forwards because there's a KV-2 up there, and it's the KV-2 that we probably hit with that blind shot. In fact, you can see a tree just went down, indicating that the KV-2's up there, and he fires around in to try and wake him up. Okay, he's indicated on the minimap where he thinks that enemy is. Our teammates can see that indicator, so they know where they think the KV-2 is. And in fact, the thing that they ought to do is the Hellcat and the T-3485 ought to go in right down the middle towards the cat, because the Achilles is probably the only one who's still sitting there, because it's more than likely the KV-2 and the Stug are guarding the north route. In fact, the Stug came forward rather silly, of him to do that because now he's an easy target but he does take out in fact it's the achilles who got the kill on the t-3485 so the stug's doing the scouting and the achilles is doing the killing our wolverines just moved in behind the, the achilles he's inside the castle grounds he needs to find out where the achilles is get behind him and start shooting him in the rear he's full health the achilles is not We've already got a round on that Achilles. The Stug, and the Stug's taken out by the Zaddy Micah. Okay, so now we're down to two minutes. We've got to make a move towards the uh, cap. Unfortunately, our teammate in the other RT is only an AMX 13 F3, but he has got speed. He can do 60 kilometers an hour, and if he moves up, he should be able to get in the cap area fairly quickly. We're a bit slower. And there's the Achilles. So that's where he was. He's up on top of the hill. Now, can we get a kill shot here? He's just been hit by two. Oh, and that's another kill. That's a top gun. Fun Fizzers just generated a top gun. And the Wolverine on our team has just gone into the cap. And that tells the enemy where one of our guys is. And that was a bit high. Now, oh dear. Yeah, it was a bit premature to get into the cap at this moment, but he does get a hit on the KV-2 just before he disappears from sight. And it looks like the AMX-13 F3 also got a hit. Bunkers is still trying to pump rounds in, but all we've got is the Zaddy Micro, and he's trying to go the north route, and that's not helping us. The Hellcat needs to go up onto the hill, find out where the KV-2 is, and shoot at him so that we can get shots on him as well. But we're in the last minute... And it now looks like that T-67 and their KV-2. The last two enemies are 
preserving their cap and if we don't get in there soon and kill them we won't win this game if just one of them survives we lose the game and the t67 is going in after our hellcat can we get a shot he's maneuvering a lot he knows how to avoid rt shells oh that was so close and now we've got the the uh, chimney in the way he can see the kv2 but we're in the last 10 seconds of the game rounds out it lands short and i'm afraid it looks like they might get the kill on the kv2 but we've run out on time and it's game over well that was a really good attempt by Thumpizer to win the game on the redshire assault he managed to get an ace tanker in his 105 lip h 18 b2 or fifi la pew pew he also got a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits in fact he got 28 he got a gauze medal for doing more damage exceeding eight times the hit points of his own vehicle he got a counter battery fire medal for taking out both the griller with a blind shot and then he took out the fb304 he also got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and on top of that he got a top gun for getting at least six kills if only he could have connected with that t67 and then got a shot into the side of the kv2 we might have stood a chance of winning but it was Fumpizer doing most of the work most of the heavy lifting as well because once he took out that uh, that achilles we stood a chance of actually getting a win but i'm afraid they just could not pin that t67 down he knew how to maneuver that t67 to keep out the way of the enemy shells as a consequence we weren't able to kill him and the enemy succeeded so let's have a look at the team score well the highest damage in the game was 3534 hit points of damage and that goes to Fumpizer. when it came to the second highest that turned out to be the achilles on the enemy team 1480 and the third highest was the m18 hellcat on our team 1387 i think he was let down by his 90 millimeter reload it's so long that he couldn't get a second shot into that t67 who's he was rapidly running away from him in third place we've got the uh well actually that's third place sorry the achilles the hellcat is third place when it came to came to kills we can see fumpizza managed to get six the achilles managed four three kills went to our hellcat and when it came to base xp fumpizza got that one as well 1002 he's the only one to get over a thousand base even on a losing game he's still the highest on base xp and in second place was the t34 on the enemy team with 694 and then their flat panzer the yak panzer fear with 648 so very good that he got the top in two of the columns in fact actually he got the top in all of the columns in this game but it just wasn't able to win he was carrying the team on his back but unfortunately just couldn't get them over the finish line because they wouldn't connect with those last two enemies let's have a look at detail well he fired 43 rounds so he only had seven left at the end of the game got 22 direct hits on the enemy and six penetrating shots and 21 splash damage of 3534 hit points all of it at more than 300 meters if we look at the penetrating shots we can see he penetrated the achilles the T1 Heavy, um, the Griller, and the FE304, and the M10 Wolverine, and the Skoda T25. Yes, that shot, which I thought wasn't going to go through, was going to miss the Skoda because he left it a bit late on the shot. It actually did connect with the front of the vehicle, and that was a penetrating shot. If we go back to the details again, we can see he damaged 11 of the enemy, killed six of them, did 636 hit points of damage assist or stun assist off the not no actually damage assist on this occasion of course he's got no stun uh, but yes he managed to damage them and other teammates managed to get shots on the enemy once they were damaged and immobile on a premium count he actually made a profit on this game even though he lost a 51,412 credits but uh, and he did get the achievements award as well for 4,050 and on the xp he actually picked up 3301 again he got the achievements award because he got a medal in the losing game um and so it actually made it a fairly reasonable battle in terms of the reward for him for all that effort he put in he nearly won for his team he desperately tried to get that t67 he just narrowly missed him 
on one shot and then he tried to nail the kv2 just couldn't get the shell it went short actually it fell short uh instead of going into the side of the kv2 if he got those two shots on the kv2 i think they might have got that guy but uh the t67 was very very elusive so a great battle there by Fun Fizzle. We haven't seen him on our channel for a while. He's been otherwise engaged and active, but um, uh, it's nice to see him back and he's producing really good replays. That was an excellent assault game, even if he didn't win it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.